Welcome to the channel of issues where I talk about them all, the good, the bad, the crazy, the insane, and the ones we typically talk about each other, mostly behind each other's back because that's what we do, because we have issues, how we deal with our issues, that is the difference. My name is Miss Charlotte. You can look at me as your favorite cousin or your big sister or your homegirl around the corner, you know, or maybe I'm just that other gut feeling. You kind of already know what you're supposed to do. You just need that extra push. If it works for you, it works for me. I am here for it. Please know that when you come to this platform, I'm going to keep it 100, unfiltered, raw, and honest. This comes from a place of disciplinary love and accountability because we are grown and we have to deal with these consequences. Married women, I understand that maybe... Uh, marriage for you was the fairy tale that finally came true. We are so happy for you. I'm happy if you are happy. But what you married women need to do or need to stop doing, that is, is give giving unsolicited advice to single women. Okay. Some of you have finally gotten married and you have this holier than thou attitude where you got your nose up in the air and you're kind of looking down at your single girlfriends because you feel like, oh, I'm married and you know, I'm better than her. And so now you have this righteous, holier than thou kind of attitude. And maybe you don't mean to, maybe you want, you know, happiness for your girlfriend. And so you just, you think you're giving her good advice. The unsolicited advice that I have an issue with is this one. Oh, you need to stop being picky or you're so picky. That right there, you're going to have to stop, okay? Because the way I'm going to see it and the way I'm going to pop off at you is I am not going to settle the way you settled, okay? Because that's how I'm going to see it. I'm going to see it one or two ways. Either you were picky and you got what you wanted and what you're telling me is that I can't be picky like you and I can't get what I want like you. Or what you're telling me is that you used to be picky and you settled and you got what you settled for and now you're trying to tell me that i need to settle and that's just not going down so stop telling us oh you need to stop being picky because if you do we're going to pop off and we're going to tell you i'm not going to settle the way you did okay and you're going to catch an attitude because you're not going to deal with the fact that you settled okay or you want to deal with the attitude that you didn't settle and you got everything and then now you're telling me that i need to like i'm not good enough to wait like you did now, I will say this. I get where you're coming from. There are some single women out here, ladies, let's keep it real. Some of us may have some unrealistic uh, wants and needs in our mate. And what I want to say to you is this. I'm a firm believer that you get what you give, okay? So what I mean by that is... If you are always saying, oh, the man needs to have a six pack and he needs to be in shape and he needs to have a body, then Miss Girl, you need to be in shape too. If he has a six pack and you want him to have a six pack, you can't be running around with a cake, okay? You need to at least have your butt in the gym and be working on your body as well if this is a criteria for you. If you are on the bus, you can't be sitting up here saying he needs to be in a Lamborghini and he needs to be in a Porsche. You can't be on the bus looking out the window and looking down at the brothers that's on the bus with you. You get what you give, okay? Uh, if you want his credit to be a certain way, if he needs to be in a car and he needs to be in a house, you need to be in a car. You need to be in a house, okay? Now, don't get it confused. I'm not saying that if you're down on your luck and you meet somebody and they have their act together that you're not worthy of them. What I am saying is if you set in the criteria for your mate and goals, you need to set those same goals and criteria for yourself is what I'm saying. If you want his credit to be 800, then you need to be working on your credit. Your credit can't be 300 and you talking about his need to be 800 because when y'all get together, you messing up his credit. Don't nobody want nobody like that. You get what you give, okay? So single ladies, we kind of do have to take a little bit of what they're saying, not to be picky, let's not be unrealistic, but married women, y'all gonna have to stop coming up to us saying we need to stop being picky because that means you wasn't and that you settled. And Miss Girl, we're not settling. I know I'm not. Okay, I'd rather be single and happy than married and miserable. Eminem.
married and miserable. I am not trying to do that, okay? If you understand what I'm talking about, give me the thumbs up. If you don't, give me the thumbs down. Leave it in the comment. We can agree to disagree. That's all. It's all good. I ain't got no problem with it. But don't forget, no matter what, subscribe to my channel. Hello. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, also, you can catch me here every Wednesday. I'm going to have a new video, a new um, issue every Wednesday. And sometimes I like to post other videos. If you want to see when I post other videos, hit the notification bell and you will be notified. But every Wednesday, I will be here. Follow me on social at Miss Burley to you. But don't forget, subscribe to my channel.